Hi YouTube, this is Joe Calton with Calton Cutlery. You can find us on the web, caltoncutlery.com. Um, today, it's uh, it, this video is kind of late coming. I should have done it about a month ago or so, but um, I think I might have finally uh, built a game cart that there's not a whole lot that I would change on it. Um, I think this is, oh, probably the fifth one, maybe something like that. Uh, it's a, a two-man style of cart, so you can have a guy on, or a, a person on, on either end. Um, you load the game, or I guess if you had to, you know, carry anything else, maybe uh, firewood, or uh, if you had an injured person um, out in the hills and you needed to get them out in one piece, um, you could, you know, put a stretcher across there, and then uh, two people could carry them out fairly easily. Um, the other game carts I've built, they've either been too lightly constructed, too heavily constructed, or the height was wrong or it was like the wheelbarrow style which that wheelbarrow style a lot of folks don't really care for it too much but I can remember on th at least three different occasions at the moment that I've put a half an elk uh, with the hide and everything on one of those wheelbarrow style carts and carried it out um, so that they, they do work quite a pretty well uh, there's just not near as much mechanical advantage this style of cart you can use it um, as a one-man cart. What you do is you just load the weight. Instead of putting the weight centered over the, the wheel, you move the weight closer to whatever side that you're on. So let's say you're on, on this side. You would put the, the center, of the, center of gravity slightly on this, your side of the wheel. And then what that does is it kind of sort of turns it into a wheelbarrow sort of cart. Um, and it gives you an awful lot more stability and um, and it is an awful lot of work I remember the cart that I based this design off of uh, a friend of mine built it for a sheep hunt that him and his son went on I want to say his son was like 15 at the time that he built it and his son is now 71 uh, I did carry a half an elk out on that game cart and while I did it I wouldn't do it again it was um, it was pretty brutal. Uh, anyway, so we'll go over this one. Uh, we'll start off with the frame. This one is built out of um, the top rail off a chain link fence, so inch and three eighths uh, galvanized uh, steel tubing. And my dog, there's a light over here, must be shining off my uh, reflecting off my cell phone. She's just going nuts over it. Anyway, inch and three eighths tubing. It's been welded together with a MIG welder with just straight up flux core, so the welds are kind of ugly, but they're they're nice and strong. Um, we've got two center supports or center rails, this one, and then that one, and then we've got several cross members. That is the one thing that I'll change on it uh, probably in the spring, and I'll let you know about that. And then the uprights here, they are bent. So they're, they're they're bent into into shape first, and then welded, um, you know, to the to the frame rails, and then you've got one that's got a, a cross support between them, and then that is where one of the brakes is installed. That's just a caliper brake, and then that goes back to this handle. These when I made these mounts for the brake handles, um, I made them real loose so that you can just rotate them in and out so that when you uh, set one side of the cart down on the ground it doesn't jam the brake into the dirt the other side the brake is a disc brake you know I probably I haven't been focusing this whole time I hope that wasn't too blurry before but that's just a disc brake brake actuator over here with the pads and then that brake runs up to the other end so both people have got brakes when you're using this as a, a two two person uh, cart the uh, the ends these are just inner tubing a bicycle inner tube a mountain bike size tire just to give you a little bit of grip um, having brakes on either end that is really really nice not only does it make going downhill a lot safer 
but you can also mess with the other person on the other end of the cart. So let's say you're going and you just need a laugh because you know you're packing a half an elk out and it's been three miles and you still got two miles left to get to the truck and things are getting a little bit too serious well then just hit your brake you know without telling the other guy and just mess with him a little bit you know have some fun um, you know it's not all work well I guess it is all work packing meat especially elk but you know you ought to have a little bit of fun while you're there anyway I did not weigh this cart but um, it is quite a bit lighter than my previous one that I built out of uh, three quarter inch uh, black pipe like uh, you know like black iron pipe that you use for running uh, natural gas or propane or something um, I do have a tool holder right here right now it's just strapped or uh, just taped on and all it is is a uh, welding rod container I've got some rope, a uh, couple of hand tools, some allen wrenches for the brakes, a uh, spare tube, um, and a pump in there. Um, I'm going to end up making a, a little bit nicer holder for that. The one change uh, that I'm going to make with this, now we've put um, two antelope, two deer, and I worked up a, a half a beef the other day, and so uh, I put a quarter of a beef on the, the cart and then use the cart to carry it back here to put into the, the, the meat cooler um, and then you know did so it's had two quarters of beef on it uh, two antelope two deer and it seems like we had something else on there too but I can't remember at the moment um, and it's been working really really well um, it makes the game quite a bit lighter than what you would think uh, and it works pretty good I've used it both by myself and uh, with my son who is now almost 15 years old so he's nice and tall uh, or taller so uh, we don't have to you know build as much uh, height adjustment into each end although this one does have does have a height adjustment there you can put your clear you can put your axle through one of those three holes uh, to change your height of course if you do that then you lose the uh, the caliper brake because it won't be set up right um, what I'll probably end up doing is making some uh, handle offsets for one side so what you'll have is a pipe that sticks in to the end of this pipe and then it's welded onto a plate and then that plate will have like a two inch drop or a three inch drop and then another handle that comes out of that and then put it in um, with keeper pins so that you can put these handles lower or you can swap them around and put them higher or you can use the the regular ones that way you can make uh, you know the the cart fit the two people that are running it the most the one thing that I am going to change besides the mount of the the tool carry is these uh, two four these four cross supports um, the two at the end or the one at each end I'm going to leave them straight but when I get some time this spring I'm going to go ahead and take these four cross members here out and then make up new ones that are curved and then they'll I mean even if it's just you know two or three inches uh, that curve will really help to, to let uh, you know a deer or a half an elk or whatever sit a little bit lower and then also um, it'll be more secure so you can kind of tip it to a one side or another a little bit more before it starts wanting to fall out um, I think we have used just rope to tie this down but actually what works best is ratchet straps like for securing a load in the back of your pickup truck uh, I want to say that's about it so we got a mountain bike wheel with a tire um, with a, the disc brake on it. Those disc brakes are, are really really nice a uh, lot more braking power than the, the caliper brakes But with this setup we can have You know two brakes on the same wheel. You could do the same thing with with two caliper brakes if you needed to um, So we got the wheel the two brakes the uh, the inch and three-eighths uh, chain link fence top rail seems to be a good um, a good compromise between strength and weight um, so this cart it feels nice and light but yet it's got plenty of strength uh, the, the one of the other ones I made out of uh, 
three quarter inch uh, electrical tubing and it wasn't very strong at all. Um, I put uh, a big deer on it and bent the frame pretty easily. Um, so, but this stuff right here seems to work pretty good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you, uh, if you need a cart like this, um, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not making these for sale. Uh, I'm not even making plans for them because it's kind of all based on uh, the materials you have at hand, uh, what kind of tire that you can find, um, your uh, abilities, whether you can weld or, or whether you need to bolt everything together, uh, or maybe you've got a buddy that can weld it up. Um, and honestly, there's just not that much to them. Um, granted, I say that after, like I said, this is like my fifth or sixth one that I've built. But, you know, if you want something that, that works just perfect, you got to keep after it until you get it done. Oh, the last thing, this one has got a fancy camo paint job on it. I figured that would make it work better. And it's just the, the rattle can paint from Walmart. And you can see it comes off comes off pretty easy but it's a real nice matte um, color and I think the cans are I don't know three or four bucks a can something like that and then I just grab two or three colors I kind of like the lighter ones um, you know the light green the tan uh, I'm a heck of a glare I hope that that shows up good the light green, the tans, mostly for the base coats, and then a couple of just streaks of, uh, of darker stuff just to kind of break it up a little bit. Also, these things work really good. Like, let's say you've got a really good hunting spot, and it's, you know, five miles from where you can park the truck. And you don't want to walk in uh, and then maybe tip over an elk while you're there and then have to walk all the way back to the truck to get the cart and then walk all the way back, you know, to get the elk. Um, I hear a lot of guys tell me that, that, you know, they, um, it's just too much work using a cart. Well, let me tell you, the second you use a cart after you've been packing out elk on your back, um, you'll learn to enjoy that cart. Uh, but this style also works really good for a hunting blind. So if, if you know that you're going to a spot that's five miles in there, you know, go ahead and take the cart in there with you set it up in you know your favorite sitting spot you know toss some sagebrush or uh, you know pine boughs or you know whatever you've got around it and not only does it make a pretty good blind to break up your outline but that top rail makes a pretty good rifle rest um, another thing folks have told me about uh, game carts is that they won't go into uh, uh, where they hunt they say the terrain is too rough um, I've been using this style of cart now for oh at least 10 years and let me tell you if you're in a spot that you and a friend cannot get this cart into and out of with a half an elk on it you really ought to rethink uh, where you're hunting because about the only way you're gonna get it out after that is on your back with a pack or with um, with a knife and fork and some salt and toilet paper because these things will go through uh, they'll get around an awful lot better than you think. The single wheel um, allows you to go through most game trails, which, you know, game animals are the small, you know, they live there. They know the easiest way to get from one place to another. So follow their trails. If you use uh, the single wheel also works really good on an uphill or a downhill or a side hill. The two wheel stog carts uh, really have a problem with that. Um, you need to be mostly on flat ground for that. Um, but these work really, really good. Um, you know, and if you don't believe me, then then uh, then build one and go ahead, go get yourself a deer, antelope, elk, moose, whatever, and then use it to pack that animal back to your truck. And I bet you, by the time you get to the truck, you'll be uh, you'll be glad you built it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you next time.